this is uh looks like there's a lot but uh we brought some extra stuff this for the uh, jump start a uh, lot so we just got uh, coolers and stuff like that to keep the food and meats fresh for one more day and we're leaving very shortly So here we are, we got, uh, we finally arrived at our jump site, which is uh, Canis Bay. We're on lot 159. And uh, for those who do not know what a jump site is, a jump site is a, um, a lot that you're staying on before you start your canoe trip. Just to make, if you have to travel far the day um, of your trip, I mean, you don't want to travel for uh, six hours or wake up two in the morning, then canoe for another five hours. So we pretty much uh, avoid that, stay on the lot nearby our uh, our first lake, and then uh, start a trip off that way just to make it a little easier. So this is kind of like, we're just staying here, nice little lot. We kind of pack a little bit differently. We kind of uh, bring a separate bag. Uh, so we're not uh, digging in our, uh, our clothes and our other stuff and sleeping bags and all that, just to make it a little easier so we don't have to uh, spend too much time um organizing stuff in the morning so uh, the jump lot and then uh, we'll be getting having a quick breakfast in the morning and uh, heading out uh, to our canoe canoe lake and then uh, we'll continue from there see you tomorrow see you tomorrow well we're just getting our breakfast ready we're having french toast french toast to good thing you said it i was gonna say pancakes to start off on our first day yeah Normally, on a canoe trip, we wouldn't bring all this, just because we were in our jump the night the, 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 the day before, what? the morning of, I should say. So yeah, we got some fresh bread, we got some eggs, and then we're going to use that to cook our, our French toast. Good start to the day. So I'm just going to go through our trip uh, at Algonquin Park. Our day one is going to be starting off at uh, Canoe Lake, which is a total of 16.2 uh, kilometers on the first day, which is that orange line you're looking at. And that's going to take us all the way to Sunbeam. To get there, we're going to have to go through a few portages. I think we got uh, one, two, three, four portages. And the plan is to spend one night on Sunbeam. Uh, day two, get up early, get ready for another day, a uh, little shorter day. This one here is gonna be 6.2. And then we're gonna have a few portages. So we're gonna have the 391, 1049, and a 540 to take us to Burnt Island Lake. Uh, the plan is that we're gonna find a nice lot, spend two nights on Burnt Island Lake, uh, have a good rest and then get ready for the next day, which will be day four, 7.8 kilometers. And we got a few portages, nothing crazy. We have a 200, 435, and a 120, which is going to take us to Joe East Arm Lake. Uh, we're going to spend one night there and then uh, we're going to finish off our day with day five of 6.5 kilometers back home. So I think this is a great trip. I'm super anxious to get this done and uh, hopefully everything goes well.
I thought I'd just do a quick video from the dock here. We're about to leave. We are way over there. And we are heading that way. So we're getting in right now. Just going by this little uh, lighthouse. I have no idea what's there for. Too little for boats. I don't think canoes need lighthouses. And we got some catching up to do. We're falling behind. Okay, we're just just coming up to the split. We've got to go towards Joe Lake, and we got the other direction, Potter Lake. But we're going towards Joe. Very hot right now. Oh, we made it for the portage. This one here is the first one, 260. So just, uh, um, to over to Joe Lake. Yeah. The only thing about this one, it is also known as the highway. So it's very busy. And let me get closer here so everybody see it. Right there. Oh, 295, I like. 265, I said 260. So a short portage. A bunch of rope here. I feel like I've been here, I've been watching too many videos here. It feels like I've been here like 10 times now. Doing good, girls. So as you can tell, we're doing the front backpack. That's our cooler with our food. Then we got the back backpack. And then the nice thing would probably, if I would have just stopped recording and help my wife, but just want to see our system, what we got going here. It's working pretty good. Okay, so we're just taking a little break. Uh, we've traveled uh, 13.5 kilometers. We just stopped on this, uh, this cool lot. We call this the Flintstone chair lot. Uh, pretty cool actually, it's even got a little table. So yeah, we're gonna have a quick bathroom break and then, uh, and then uh, have a quick bite for lunch and then continue to Sunbeam Lake, which is probably another five or six kilometers so it's going good so far yeah it's right here just showing everybody our perfect wrap so we got bacon chicken lettuce cheese mayo little packs of mayo oh. and uh yeah something that we always bring and it's perfect to make so but we usually eat it on the first or second day because it involves chicken and bacon so anyways perfect snack Okay, bye-bye, best campsite I've ever seen. Unfortunately, we're not staying here. And I'm not saying it where it is at because I might take it next time. Nice view too. Beach, mm, I give it a six out of 10. Very nice. Okay, we just came off our, off of, uh, what lake am I not even on? Bartlett. And then we're going to the pond, I guess. So, 470. Um, wearing sandals. I think I'm going to put my boots on. I don't want to sprain my ankle. So, I'll get ready for this one. Hey, we started our portage. We're kind of the people that like doing it in one trip. So, it's heavy. It's hot. Must be about... Uh, I don't know, 32 with the Humidex. Took a layer of clothes off. And now we're going uphill. 
Yeah, it's not a bad one, 460. Gonna take us too long. Guess we got four of them back, back, back to back to back. So, anyways, I'm gonna carry forward. We made it to the other side. That was a lot of uphill, a lot more than I expected. Here comes Yannick, doing good somewhere. That was a lot of up, eh? Oh, yeah. That was crazy. Anyways, we made it. Now we got to go through this little spot here, follow that trail, and Portage is right over there. And I think that one's a 130, so. Well, this has been, this has been very exciting. Um, I'm just dragging bottom the whole way, just making a big ass uh, mud wave. But uh, I came across these guys. And my wife says, watch it, they're territorial. They're just hanging out right there. I don't know if you can see them. And I gotta go right by them. We'll see what happens. Just a whole bunch of the mother and the whole bunch of babies are kind of slowly sneaking away. Makes it easier for me to make it by here. They're kind of keeping their heads low. Well, record in the making, worst portage ever. Well, sorry, half portage, half canoe. I canoed, they portage around, and then through mud like that, and now we're dead. We'll take a little break and keep on going. Okay, well, half of the trip was good, and then we started hitting these portages, and it's nuts. So we just did the... Uh, did the four, 495, the, I can't remember what this one is, 270, 240, and then we got a 670, and these are crazy, crazy portages, very rocky, very uh, up and down. One more to go though, we'll get to our lake and we're going to take a good break. Ask me. <laughs> okay, so we did the last, well, not the, we didn't do it yet. Last portage for the day. Yeah, 670 to Sunbeam. Take your time, there's not much place to lie here. Oh, the lake we around here. I should know this. Aster Pond. A little short one. Right off the bat, nice incline to work with. It's a nice lake though. Okay, I can give you a little bit of an update. We were, my battery died. My wife's battery died. So anyways, you missed a portage. Uh, we got finally onto Sunbeam Lake. And then uh, we decided to go, uh, we're looking at an island. And when we got to the island, I guess a hurricane, <laughs> a tornado. Uh, went through that uh, that island and destroyed it so a little, like a lot of trees are down um so anyways we kept on going went all the way to the end of the lake there's one site there it was crappy so we decided to come all the way back to the other end again and then uh actually we found this site so it's pretty nifty we just got our tent set up <clears throat> just got my phone charged a little bit went and got some firewood had to go in the canoe to get that it's an island there's not much firewood on here so I had to go across on the other side to get that but it's a pretty sweet sight and then uh, everybody's dead guess what we have to do this tomorrow right honey What's that? we got to do this tomorrow yes we do are you excited very yeah right okay because they know it's our rest day oh yeah rest day tomorrow we can find a lot and we're staying there for two nights. I think we definitely need a rest day. So anyway, I'm gonna try that out. And I'm recording. So uh, I was trying to take a picture. This is what our meal looks like. Voila, with asparagus.
to see a little bit of the sunset. Not the ideal spot on the island, but we got a good sunrise though. Let's see if we can get up early enough to see that. Awesome. There we go, final product. Say bow. Say say bow. No asparagus for her. Asparagus for me. A lot of asparagus. Over there? Oh, over there. Asparagus? No asparagus. Oh, one. He, he I ate, ate one. A, he oh, yeah, one. Asparagus. Okay. Tosh, you have to eat. I, no. I ate my greens. I am not eating that. I don't like them. But you're going to be the only one? I don't care. Okay. Plate works fine. Well, a little fighter, don't give up. That was the only piece of birch bark that I had. Well, day two, we're just getting all packed up, getting ready, then we're gonna have breakfast, and we're gonna head out. But first, you gotta start with this guy, coffee. I just bought that, I think it's called Euro Press. It's good coffee, it really does. So, anyways, we're gonna drink my coffee first. Uh, well, yes? Who's talking to? My phone. You're talking to your phone? Yeah. Oh, you're recording yourself again? Yes. Look okay. She's packing. We're eating. I'm drinking. We're leaving. That's the plan. Actually, I don't even I don't even know if I did a little quick tour of this site. <clears throat> like I said, this is sorry if I'm a little shaky. I I usually use my little gimbal, DJI gimbal here, but uh, I forgot a part, so I'll have to use my steady arms. It's not bad. Not as great as the Flintstone one we saw the other day. That's where you go to the bathroom. Of course, it's every single place is always uphill. So make sure you have your flashlight in the middle of the night. Don't walk off the cliff. And they have two places where you can bring your canoe in. You can bring it in over there. Or it's a little bit rocky over here though. So I suggest you bring it in over here. So it's pretty much the first sight when you come off the uh, portage from the uh, the four uh, worst portages I've ever been on. And then, uh, yeah, good little spot. I think this one's good. It took a little time to find it there, but it's got lots of room on here if you want to do anything, play games after. Yeah, nice spot. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to show people how to properly put out a fire. So you take your water, you put it kind of everywhere. Just dump on a little bit. Well, you can get some of the rocks, cool the rocks down a little bit. And then uh, once everything's cool, kind of flip the pieces of wood around because it's going to be hot on the other side. And then uh, put it right on there. And uh, as soon as you think you're done and you're happy, We'll get another bucket and throw it on there one more time. Guaranteed it'll be up. Okay, we're off. Going to the first portage. That's the island that we're staying on. And we're on our way. It is warm, very humid. It's going to make it crappy, but drink a lot of water. That's all. Right, honey? That's right. 
you're doing a circle. What happens when she's treading the paddle by herself? Doesn't matter what side it is, it goes to the left. Hey, we're going around. <laughs> oh, oh well. Okay, we're just coming to our just coming to our first portage, as you can see. This is what I was talking about yesterday. I guess it came through here. You can see all the trees and everything knocked down, roots up, branches broken. And if you kind of look, that's the island over there that we're gonna stay on. So it looks like it hit that island, but came across from there or backwards. Maybe from here. But uh, yeah, that's crazy. We'll have to be careful in there. So this is from Sunbeam to Tree Frog Portage is going to be 390 meters. Through this. <laughs> Good start. Well, I'm just going to follow them a little bit without the canoe because I suppose there's some ducking and some... Should be an interesting trail. Oh yeah, I'll be right behind you. Uh, yeah, but they're not going the same direction now. Okay, okay here goes Sean. Oh, there goes my canoe though. Loading his... His canoe by log, way of log. Now, he may need some assistance. <laughs> I'll go here, I'll go, I can get my feet wet. Okay. Oh. Yeah, probably coming here. We're gonna have to just wait. <laughs> See that, Sean? All that, eh? I know, it's crazy. You got to leave the bag too Yeah, I got my hand there. I should go get the paddle as soon as I. trying to see moose. Oh, that's they're what they're trying to... We didn't see nothing. But it's kind of good weather though. Bugs might, like moose might get... Uh... Are we really paddling through there? Where are we paddling? Over there? Yep, right across. Okay, okay, we just made our little trip there. It wasn't a big lake to cross. I mean, right there. It's tree to frog, here. lake to pond. 110 meters. Okay, do the Vanna White. <laughs> and we're starting off on flat ground. That never happens. Okay, hopefully it doesn't change after that. Okay, we made our little cross. This lake from Pond. Now we're going Pond to J, Portage 495. We got spoiled on the last one because this one here starts off uphill. So, yeah, that's flat. I already brought our canoe up there, but yeah, we, another short one. It was just straight across again. Okay, we just finished another portage. Um, humidity is getting to us and the bugs. But we got our, this guy doing his job, taking a break, scaring away the mosquitoes. And uh, not so much the deer flies. I hate those guys. And uh, we're having, what are we having? This stuff. Oh, it scared the crap out of me. That was her bag. We're having this stuff. And what do you have? I had. Those are awesome. Those are really good. Just really expensive. And uh, yeah, so we're just taking a break. And then our next, another little skip across to, I think it's over there somewhere. Oh yeah, right over there. And then that's our last one. Six or no, four ninety five. No, five something. Anyways, another big one. And then we're on Burnt Island Lake. Oh, you guys didn't take too long of a break. And now uh, And we set up the we'll be uh, there. Okay, final portage of the day. Six eighty J Lake to Burnt Island. Um seems like the water's a little higher when they put that a little lower when they put the sign. I got this beaver dam here. 
did a great job, no leaks. I'm gonna hire that beaver. And uh, yeah, hopefully this is a nice hike or a nice port dive because the other ones, the other ones are not bad, eh? No, it's really hot. No, it's just, hard, but in... just hot. Yeah. Any port dive is difficult when it's hot. What? What's that? That didn't seem that long. No, I agree. Me too. I'm all like, I'm kind of estimating. I'm all okay. That's 300. I'm all the next, next one I'm calculating will be 400. And that's pretty much just downhill, just a little yeah. going down. Now. No, it's good. Not as bad as I expected. Yeah, so it's, it's an up and down portage, but uh, I don't know. It doesn't seem like 690 to me, but that's what it's marked. So maybe it was just uh, we're super quick today, right? Yes, that's right. Well, we made it to our site, I think. We're just waiting for Monik and Yannick, the other couple. And it's not a bad site. It's not one of them I plan to take, but I think it's pretty good. A lot of room for tent. Not bad fire pit. It's on the point so we get the nice breeze. Yeah, I think this will work. Or or once they get here, I think we're going to go take a peek. Island right over there. Let's go have a quick peek and see if it's worth uh, going over there. But uh, I think we're going to be good here. Well, this is how I kind of empty my flood bag. We got everything in there. <laughs> Good shot. <laughs> I, I have to force myself to stay down. I have to force myself to float. I got to do work with the float. I think I want to wet my hair back. I'm trying to get most of that crappy. Well, we just finished our swim and then we came across this guy as we're coming out of the water. Actually, it wouldn't be so bad. <laughs> Besides the grass, it'd be a nice little spot right here. Yeah, it would be. Yeah, right over here. Yeah, I know it's a good spot right here to swim, though. I like this, this, what, this water. Yeah. Yeah, I think we found our swimming spot. Okay, this is our second meal, second night. Yep. We got chicken fried rice with a yep. little bit of everything. And I'm super hungry. I don't know if you want to flavor it. Okay. And I'm going to eat that That's, I think I have salt pepper here. I'm just making my way towards the beach. The lake is nice and calm right now. I'm going to come and check out the other side here. Sun's going down. We've got a good view of it. 